Hello everybody, Mike Levin here. Friday, April 10th, uh, 2015. And when last we left off, I had had the text too small for people to actually read. Let me do uh, some enlargement. And we output this from a function, which is multiples of eight starting from zero up through 56. And that is going to be an input parameter on a URL that we build on start, the start equals parameter. So we can get back eight results per page starting from zero for a total of 64 search results. I said it's going to be top 80 down from top 100, which the uh, proprietary commercial tools track. Well, ours is going to be 64. Hey, okay, let's get what, it, get what you pay for, right? But I need a better way for building my URLs than uh, what I'm doing on this line here, which is kind of old school building it. Now, Python has a bunch of facilities built in for doing that, but A, it's always confused me, and B, it changes from Python 2.7 to 3.4, so I'm going to avoid it by leaning on the request object, which we are using uh, as an alternative API for making HTTP requests. It's one of the popular third-party libraries of Python requests. And um, here you can see you can use an API that normally takes one parameter, and you can give it a second parameter in the form of params equals a dictionary object as the payload, which is exactly what we want in our case. So uh, there's this concept of base URL now that we have. So I'm just going to copy and paste that so I keep it around. And then I will make, uh, starting from its slash web, and uh, shift D for delete to the end. That's sort of my base URL now. And um, for each call, it's going to be that plus a dictionary object. So uh, let's start that dictionary object and we'll call it uh, params. How about pdict for paramdict equals. And uh, we can just hand code the uh, syntax for representing a dictionary. It's something colon something with things that are strings in quotes. And the first one is rsz for result size, and that's going to be large. And then there's a v for 1.0. V, I'll stay consistent with my spacing. 1.0. Oh. And uh, let's see. What else is there? Oh, there's going to be a, a Q equals something. Uh, yeah, it's just Q equals. And, but that's going to be variable on each call, so I'm not going to stick that in here just yet. But there is a start. Oh, and the start, it, no, no, the Q is not going to be variable. The Q on each request is going to be uh, whatever was fed into positions as the URL. Uh, now I suppose I will, oh, it's not URL, it's, uh, it's the, the keyword being fed in. So positions on a keyword. Let's, uh, let's try feeding it keyword, making that required. Okay, and then we have to go out to our Google Spreadsheets and make that a provided parameter. Insert one left, keyword. And I will use Mike Levin as the keyword. Vanity, because I'm a snake oil salesperson. Yay! Um, so that's being fed in. So that now we have our Q. Q is going to be keyword. And we don't use the single quotes or the quotes around it because uh, it's actually a Python variable a reference to the parameter fed in. That should be enough to uh, execute this. There is also a start, but I think what I'm going to do is uh, just return. I'm going to try making the request now. There's no reason not to, right? So it's uh, 
response object equals requests and then we're giving it the two parameters. The first one doesn't need to be named, it's just API, which is the base uh, search URL. And then we feed it the second piece, which according to our example needs to be a named parameter. That's params equals params equals uh, the object we just built, pdict. And that actually makes the request. Uh, we can uh, return response object dot text and uh, this other stuff for right now actually let's uh, clean this up to look at make it less objectionable to look at and then edit out the stuff that uh, is not applicable right now one more line to delete so you can see how these two different parallel uh, you know, projects are coming together. Let's see if we get search results getting returned here. Let's make this positions four and this positions. But since it's getting ugly to look at, I'll just move this to the beginning. If I can move columns, how oh, I see. That's better. Put my question mark in. Oh, this time on this one because we need the input of Mike Levin being fed to it. Uh, in fact, I'll put. Uh, hmm. Flying point digital question mark. And we'll run two different things. Radical. Service unavailable. Oh, you know why that happened. So this is how we debug pipulate. I am going to open a new terminal. And uh, let's see. It's going to be a, a, OK. I'm logged into server and I did some Python code it didn't like here so all you have to do uh, if you set up your own server is uh, go uh, dev pipulate and it'll put it into dev mode but you can see it can't run because it's returning an error I used a comma in a, the uh, language the string language for a uh, dictionary object when I should have used a colon. So that'll let us go now. And we'll also have the benefit here. Okay, valid syntax, yeah, closing something with a curly bracket. That is not acceptable. That gets closed with a normal parenthesis. Now it should run. Voila. And uh, you have the added advantage now of being able to see the server actually do its thing whenever requests are made. I'll do it like this. Uh, let's bring up the Pipulate interface. Service no longer unavailable, it is now available, and you can see it shows that there. Let's go back to here. In fact, let's go, yeah, okay. Uh, log in. It's me. Except, and yeah, there are some rough edges like having to log in again after, you know, you've been away, away from it from, for a while. So what? Uh, start pipulating. And let's see if those question marks get replaced by actual SERPs letting me know that I did the work correctly. Some sort of type error. Object is not, oh, uh, module object is not callable. And it is on that response equals request API params equals pdict. Two things to check. Oops. One of the things is that I'm constructing the request properly. 
This is a dictionary Let's uh, see if it is an issue of passing in uh, that parameter. I'll just hardwire it as my name. And it's choking on this. Oh, silly me. In fact, now that I see what I did wrong, there's probably people out there who know this stuff really well who are screaming, saying, it's not going to work, it's not going to work, because I'm not using request.get. I will keep my mistakes intact, just to piss certain people off. This is what doing this kind of work is about. There's nothing wrong with this. There's no shame in this. This is the learning process. And uh, that looks like SERPs to me. As does that, each one on the respective keywords. So you can see just by glancing in here, strategic planning by digital experts. That is not something that would have appeared on a search for uh, Mike Levin. That is something that appeared for a search on that. So we are in fact getting SERPs using the alternative way of invoking the, um, the get uh, method of the request object so that we can feed a dictionary object as the query string parameter so that feeding variable query string parameters becomes much easier so that one of these up here actually is going to become start equal on the next video. But I think this is a good enough uh, step forward that it's time to uh, stop the video and bank it. And thank you for joining me and asking you to uh, subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.